Hi guys, this is Jasmine from Jazz Journey. Well, today's going to be a battle, but it's going to be the same brand battle from CoverGirl. I'm going to be using uh, the CoverGirl Vital List that I really enjoyed that was released last year. And I'm going to pair with this new foundation that I just got my hands on. It's CoverGirl uh, True Blend uh, Matte Made. And I'm going to pair them side by side. I tried it for a few days. I also paired them side by side on another day. And I also tried it with a primer. So I really put both foundations to the test. So I'm going to be sharing all that good stuff on this video. So for those of you who don't know, my skin is very oily, it's sensitive, it has large pores. Um, I do have acne and as you can see, there's some dark spots there from a recent acne that I got a few days ago. I'm going to start with the new foundation, the True Blend. Uh, foundation. I really did not like the shade, but I had no other choice. Most of the stores that I went to, they barely had any colors available. Um, most of them were out of stock already. So I'm applying with the brush, but then on my second coat, what I do is I put just a real small dab on the beauty blender or a sponge, and then I just feel like I finish blending everything together. While I'm applying the makeup, I'm also going to be talking the claims of this foundation so you'll know a little bit more about it. This is a True Blend Matte Made Liquid Foundation. Uh, it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. It's a comfort matte shade. It should be able to minimize the look of pores. It's going to be able to control your oil. So for me, it should be perfect because I have oily skin. Transfer resistant, I think it got me with that one. And it comes in 40 shades. Can you believe a foundation from the drugstore is going to come in 40 shades? Another of the another things that I'm liking about this, that it's a matte powder. It's going to absorb oils and it's going to minimize the look of pores. And it's going to be a soft matte, giving you a flawless finish. So it does have some good claims for this foundation. But now let's talk about the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir and what are the claims. This foundation I really love because of all the vitamins, it's infused with vitamins, it has so many good uh, components there for hydrating your skin. Uh, it has SPF 20, so just with that, I really love this foundation. Um, it has, it's going to give you a luminous glow, so it's not going to give you that matte finish. It's oil free, it's lightweight. Um, I, as you can see, I got this from Ulta and they only have a few shades, but if you go to CBS or Walgreens, I know for CVS for sure they have 14 shades, um, but it's not a big range versus the new one that has 40 shades. So those are the claims for the Vitalist. This is three days later trying out this product. This is how my skin looks like before applying anything else. I'm going to start applying the primer. I usually don't wear primer, but I did wanted to do a video um, testing out these products also with a primer. So the one that I'm using is a Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I'm going to continue sharing you briefly how I apply both of the foundations. I use the same techniques from day one, but this is actually another day me trying out the products. I'm also going to be showing you pictures of how my foundation looked from the day one, which is a day without the primer. I actually did a video, which was the unboxing of BoxyCharm. And you will see how my makeup look on that video. And when I started doing the video, I already had the foundation for more than six hours. So it, it looked like it was holding pretty good. And today I'm going to go live showing you how my makeup is looking and giving you my overall impression. So just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see, I finished the rest of my makeup. Right now it's 5.01, it's 5.01 in the afternoon. And when I applied this makeup, it was a little before 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's been a few hours since I have this makeup on. Uh, it does seem a little bit shiny here. The, the way that it looks on my skin, it looks pretty good. It does say that it's gonna um, blur out and hide those pores. I could feel like it does, it is hiding the pores really nicely. I feel like it's blending nicely with the rest of my skin. So that claim I feel like is uh, on point. The matte is pretty good at the beginning. It does feel like it's really nice matte there, but I'm very oily. So in this section, it's going to be oily. The coverage is pretty good. You saw in the video that there's some spots in there. Uh, three days earlier, my spots here were a lot darker. This is a spot that was a little bit dark from a dark spot. And it does feel like it does blend nicely it is almost covered and i didn't put anything else to covering um on this area it's not creasing i don't feel like it's really bad on this area with the concealer uh, where you put it uh the lines look pretty good here it's not creasing at all there's have been some foundations that as soon as i put it like an hour or two 
you see the lines and this one is pretty good they're both really good foundations I'm going to share the price because I didn't share the price earlier. When I did the unboxing for BoxyCharm, I did put on my foundation around 9 in the morning. The package didn't come uh, till 6 at night. So I had it more than 6 hours wearing that foundation. And you could see from that video, from that unboxing, that the shine is almost the same as it is right now. But I had it, I was wearing that foundation a lot longer. But I was not wearing the primer. But it got a nicer, uh, much better shade. So keep that in mind because that was uh, the issue with the Vitalist. Once you put it on, um, it does oxidize a lot stronger. Um, at least you do notice a difference once you apply it and once it dries. And you don't notice much of a difference on me wearing the foundation that the shades are very uh, light on me. That with the primer I'm seeing that it's very, uh, it's getting shinier. Both of them a lot quicker. The top hours I have been wearing this foundation is about 10 hours and it is very good. It's not coming off. It is very comfortable, um, but does it stay matte? Well, it does get a little oily, but everything else looks pretty good. Pore minimizing, yes, it does cover that. Oil control, it does cover that too. It, it does control the oils in a good reasonable amount of time and it's not overly uh, done in my skin, so it looks pretty good. Transfer resistant, oh my gosh, that is really good. I have to keep putting it on my phone. I keep putting this on my phone at certain times and I keep looking at it and it is transfer resistant and it comes in 40 shades so all those claims and even other things is a plus for this foundation so I really hope you really enjoyed this video if there's some of any other foundation you want me to put the test and put a battle on you could put that in the comment section and if you like it you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for watching and until the next video bye